is still watching The View in 2024? <laughs> like, who is still watching The View in 2024? Shout out to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court did a good job. Yes, indeed. Trump 2024. Let's crank this. We got Doug and XI, man. Shout out to all the amazing people that have been tuning in on the channel. All of Doug supporters. Um, a dog supporters, man. We spreading the message around, man. It's nothing but a blessing. And again, they'll originally be in the description box down below. God bless all you beautiful people. I'm wishing the best in all you guys' life. Just here to make sure you have an okay life. It's your main man, Rick, man. And again, we're wishing blessings, health, success, growth, opportunities, pay raises, salary increases, bonuses, upgrades, and all you guys' life, man. And we're ready to, and we're ready for that change, man. I hope y'all ready this November, man. I got one, I got one if you need it. Now you just come on down and send me what you send me your, your, your coordinates. Send me your email. I got one for you now. I got one for you. Make sure y'all can see. I got one for you. Yeah. Why did, did, did this one look more redder than the other? What the hell? Hey, this one look more redder than this one? Shoot. But man, who still watched The View in 2024? Man, all these corrupt people. We sick of all these, this nonsense. Man, let's see what my brother Doug talking about, man. If you missed yesterday, oh, we, we, we was turning up celebrating people on X was talking all my happy patriots and the proud patriots was talking talking they on X man y'all if you missed that video I'm gonna leave it at the end of the video for y'all to check it out but let's check it out man I am a moronic comic book artist barely <laughs> literate spent most of my life watching Star Wars and drawing cartoon cats shout out to you Doug hey I know a lot of people that have that same background, man. And there's some real ass people, man. They're amazing people. Shout out to my and Star Wars was amazing. That's like Star Wars is in my childhood, you know. Yeah, hell yeah. And I know more about the Supreme Court. I'm more accurate on my predictions than Sonny or any of the people on the View. Makes me so sad. Not because I feel smart, but because they're so dumb. Welcome to Doug in Exile. Let's get dumb together and watch The View. The Supreme Court has just ruled unanimously that Colorado courts cannot keep you-know-who off the state's ballot for engaging in insurrection, finding that a state cannot make a call that could have a national impact on a federal election. This looks like Whoopi is going to a dentist. She's having to mouth <laughs> these words. I love it. Where's the dance at? For when Trump had to got extracted all that money from Democrat judges that didn't involve actual justice, and these ladies are dancing all around. Now it's time for this is actual justice. They look like they're at a funeral. Of course, unless it's about a woman's right to choose, but let's not get into that. We're not going to talk about a woman's right to choose because you really mean you want to choose for a unborn woman inside the womb on whether she should exist or not. So yeah, you're right. We won't talk about that. What do you all think of this? I mean, is anybody surprised by this decision? No. no. And no. I actually think it was the right decision to mm -hmm. make because it would have, you know. This clown. I mean, you know, like what she's going to say, I, like I said, yeah, you seen yesterday in, in a couple hours ago that video we posted. Oh, my goodness. This clown, you know, I'm getting sick of hearing and seeing this woman. I mean, I'm just being honest. So if Colorado had been allowed to do that, we'd have this chaotic sort of process where you have 50 states and some are choosing to put him on the ballot and some are choosing not to put him on the ballot. So that's why this, this decision was unanimous mm -hmm. in judgment. But It's unanimous in judgment and it was stupid and political for it to come up. But The View didn't weigh in and say that before today. They say it now after it got overturned. But deep down inside, they were hoping. Deep down but if you inside. read the dissent by Justice, Justices uh, Sotomayor and Kagan and also Jackson. I'm sorry, you're missing a name. Who could it be on the dissent? Oh, Amy Coney Barrett. You missed the, the conservative that is also, she's dissenting even though they voted in support of the Supreme Court. All these women did. The four ladies did. Um, but Sonny doesn't bring up Barrett. Because she has to keep trying to say it is somehow uh, political. And it's not, no matter how you look at it. Uh, Sonny's political. The Supreme Court was not in this case. They are saying 
the Supreme Court went too far here because they answered a question that wasn't before them. The only question that was before this court was, can a state do this? Mm -hmm. right. Instead, what they did was they insulated mm -hmm. all alleged insurrectionists from future challenges to their holding federal office. Because we know this, more of this was going to come from Democrats, so they weighed in on it. Future insurrectionists know. And by the way, it was only four women dissented from the opinion, opinion that said, future insurrectionists don't even bother uh, trying to roll this one out. This is a, a, a civil war era uh, rule. It is not about what Trump is doing today or any of your opponents today. And it is a tenet of Supreme Court law. I am a Supreme Court admitted, a bar admitted attorney. I'm a comic books. <laughs> Hey, Doug, you're comedy, dude. <laughs> hey, Doug is comedy. Hell yeah, Doug. We. <laughs> oh, man. Pure freaking comedy, man. I love Doug, man. Tell Sonny to. And take those license away. Who took her? Who took her bar exam? Who took the bar exam for? It says what it does today. The court should have left undone, and we always learn that in law school. The Supreme Court should just answer the question before it. Before, but and I have wow. far too much. I had far too much hope that the court would be united in this and not overstep in favor of Donald Trump. And I think what we saw was a court where justices that behaved in a partisan manner. It still wasn't partisan. She's on a united nine to zero vote. She's saying it's partisan. Sonny, no matter how you slice it, you can't do it. Keep trying. Keep trying. The Supreme Court live in front of everyone proved you wrong started to gain f faith as Sonny would tell us like this is going to get him and I was like ah, ah, ah. but seeing it I now get the chaos which would ensue and I think it's important when you don't like the outcome which I'm not saying I don't yeah the problem is she, she's saying it right there she goes I had faith in Sonny that uh uh she was almost right almost right and then history and reality proved her wrong Ron DeSantis actually at one point said, I'm actually looking at this in Florida now. Could we make a credible case that Biden should be removed because of whatever yeah. reason he can come? And that could be happening, as you said, yeah. in every other state. That's all that DeSantis, Ron DeSantis was saying is, let's see how the Supreme Court says, can you remove people from the ballot? Because let's get Biden off the ballot. That's exactly why the Supreme Court had to rule the way they did why the, it was unanimous, why it was always going to go with it this way, and only anti-legal theory, anti-constitutionalist, amateur, left, hardened leftist, delusional people thought different. The only place to beat Donald Trump is at the ballot box. It's time to stop prosecuting Trump with all this lawfare. It didn't work, guys. Now let's get to the ballot box. And the way to do that, yes, you have to litigate his unfitness, his anti-constitutional stances. But we also have to pay attention to the issues that the voters who are still with him care about. I think that I'm curious to hear what Joe Biden says in the State of the Union coming up later this week. But voters, for the first time, the majority are saying border security matters to us. They're saying the economy matters. And we've seen... That's the bottom line of this whole thing. The Democrats are coming around. And this fake Republican is coming around. Finally, they're going... It's about the economy and the southern border. Here's a few news articles to back that up. Here's CBS News. CB, I, I posted this on the community chat for the channel yesterday. If, you're, if you subscribe to our channel, then you'll see those community posts. CBS News poll finds voters remember Trump's economy as good, boosting Trump to national lead over Biden today. Nationally, he just went ahead of Biden. Trump did. Why? It's the economy that people remember. So all the gaslighting of all these people saying the Biden's economy is good, Biden's economy is good. The people don't remember it that way, you brainwashers. You brainwashers. Super Tuesday makes 
an historic rematch, all but official. Voters are comparing not just two presidents, but two presidencies. And right now, former President Donald Trump emerges from that comparison as the front runner. He leads President Biden by four points nationally, his largest lead to date. Here's why. Voters recall the economy under Trump more fondly than they rate the economy now. That means reality won out over the lies of the view. While neither gets great marks, voters today look back on Trump's presidency with relatively better retrospective ratings than they'd rate Joe Biden's presidency so far. And by the remember, the Democrats thought all of this would be negated if they could just get some of these lawsuits to stick against Trump. But none of them are sticking. They're all they're not working. So now they have to go back to the old issues of how's the economy? How were you under Trump? How's the border? We have to realize that voters aren't yep. necessarily following this 24 hour news cycle of the Trump drama. They're voting with their pocketbooks and to beat him, it's going to come down to with a different alternative. But I think they're also voting uh, based upon a lot of the misinformation that they're getting from Fox News. Oh, it's so, so lazy, you know, as if Fox News. What about, you know, the ratings of The View? What about your audience? Why is Fox News beating so much better at brainwashing people than you guys who are burying the needle against Trump? Yep. That's right, and from other outlets. We're another outlet. So I think that, that that has a lot to do with why they're sticking with him in this cultish manner, and let's call it what it is. It feels like a cultish matter. Why are you sticking with Biden in a cultish matter? See, what's good for Biden followers? Fine, we're in a cult. But then you're in a cult too for sticking to Biden because you're gonna you're all all five of you are going to vote for Biden. You are not going to vote for Trump. So you are sticking to him in a cultish manner, regardless of how the economy is doing and how the law, even the Supreme Court agrees with Trump. Your little cult makes you vote for Biden. But to your point, yes, they, they didn't find that he was oh, an insurrectionist. God, they didn't reach that issue. But what they did do when you read the entire opinion is, even if he were an insurrectionist, they have somehow insulated him they didn't find he was an insurrectionist, but even if he was an insurrectionist, you could not use this law against him. That's what they uh, decided, and that is extremely correct. So if he is found to be an insurrectionist, the way I read this, mm -hmm. he can still be the president of the United States. And I thought that the 14th Amendment and our framers knew better. Here's where you're wrong. Again, I'm so sorry to embarrass you on this, Sonny. No, please, and please embarrass her, dog. Please, because I'm, I'm sick of this shit, too. I'm so tired of this shit. Oh, man. The framers were, it didn't come up to the framers because the insurrectionist clause, that whole thing didn't come about until the Civil War. It was the Civil War that said people in the South were insurrectionists and so were disqualified from being the president. So that the framers never would have weighed in on it because it was about 75 years later. So now you know this was never going to be something that the founders envisioned. It's something that the Supreme, that the uh, Civil War level uh, Supreme Court weighed in on, and now it no does not in any way apply to Trump. Thanks for playing. I'm Doug in Egg. <laughs> Salute to Doug, man. Rich link in the description box down below, man. Uh, gotta drop a like for that, man. That's. Are you still watching the view? I'm pretty sure everybody that ever that a part of this channel. I'm pretty sure you don't. But I just, let me read some of these comments. It is still shocking that Whoopi still acts like a seven year old and calls Donald Trump. You know who? What a child! <laughs> the Supreme Court did the right job and followed the law. Trump 2024, America first. Yes, indeed. Who else in the hell just flat out irate can't stand Sunny Hostin? <laughs> Sonny Host is a real lawyer. It's like calling The View educational TV. <laughs> Someone says, I just voted Trump 2024. No exceptions. Hey, someone says, let me see. I was a, I was, I'm a Democrat, but I'm voting for Trump 2024. <laughs> oh, man. Yes, indeed. We're going to end it off with that comment right there. Y'all comment down below. Drop a like for your boy. And again, shout out to Doug and Exile. I love you beautiful people around the world, man. And hey, wishing the best in all you guys' life, man. Peace and love, family.